Our planet. On the Earth's surface, under the shadow of the sun, everything feels familiar. The wind, the sky, the soil, life, all of it reminds us that we are home. But the oceans, the oceans are a completely different realm. The surface may look calm, yet beneath it lies a world locked in silence, dominated by darkness. And the deepest point of this world is the Mariana Trench. To descend here is not to go into the unknown, but into something that is not meant to be known. We leave the surface of the water, light slowly fades behind us, the sound of the waves disappears. It feels as if we hear the creaking of a giant door closing above us. With every meter, we approach a place forgotten by the world, a place hidden from the eyes of humanity. As we go deeper, the color of the water turns into a dark night. 100 meters, 200 meters. Here lie the final traces of light. At 500 meters, the ocean no longer communicates with us. It swallows our voice, absorbs our breath. 1,000 meters. From this point onward, every step is an entrance not to a human realm, but to the realm of darkness. In the 1850s, sailors passing through this region noticed strange changes in their echo readings. Some claimed something moved beneath their ships. That odd vibration that filled the deck at night, the hum that woke the crew. Back then, they called these the ocean's cursed breath. Even today, the source of those sounds is not entirely certain. Was it pressure, tectonic cracks, or the movement of something mysterious living in the depths? In 1951, the Challenger 2 officially measured the trench, 10,900 meters. But what many people don't know is this. Sonar signals were disrupted at certain points. The returning waves acted as if something had swallowed them. Scientists recorded these anomalies, but unfortunately could not solve the mystery. The records still remain in archives. In dusty drawers no one dares to open. In 1960, the Trieste Bathyscaf attempted to reach the bottom for the first time in history. Walsh and Picard. These two men were alone in a place untouched by humanity. During the descent, the vessel suddenly shook with tremendous force. The metal walls strained, as if they were screaming. After this event, Picard wrote in his diary, There was something that wanted to test us. It was outside the vessel, and it was trying to understand us. An increasing pressure, an instinctive warning. Just before reaching the bottom, a dark silhouette appeared, in the glow of the floodlights. Long, slender, a shadow blacker, than the surrounding darkness. Its movements were slow, yet barely noticeable, as if it did not want to be seen. Picard never fully explained what he saw. He left only one sentence. Nothing should have been able to live here, yet it was there. The pressure in the Mariana Trench is 1,100 times greater than on the surface. It can bend steel. As for the human body, it would instantly tear it apart. This region seems like a place that rejects life, as if even nature could not endure this darkness and abandoned it. The temperature is one to two degrees, oxygen is almost non-existent, and yet microorganisms live here. They resemble Earth's oldest life forms, species forgotten by ages. Perhaps life on Earth first emerged here, or a far worse possibility. Perhaps life never belonged here to begin with. In the 1990s, the US Navy recorded an unusual sound near the Mariana Trench, the bloop. Official explanation, ice breaking, unofficial interpretation, something far darker. The source of the sound is unknown, and the sound is rhythmic, consistent with something alive. But where would such a massive creature live? Is such a size possible on Earth? Perhaps not on the surface, perhaps in the depths. Perhaps that place is still hiding it. In 2012, James Cameron dived into the trench alone. 
Some of the cameras attached to his cabin recorded light being swallowed at a certain point. Normally, light reflects back from something, but there it disappeared, as if the darkness itself was a living thing consuming the light. Not all of that footage was released. They said it shouldn't be released. The trench is actually where two tectonic plates clash. The crust constantly cracks, scrapes, and splinters at this depth. Scientists call the sounds that come from these regions seismic whispers. But some recordings capture more than whispers. There is rhythm, there is breath, there is something alive. The creatures of the deep are almost extraterrestrial. Blind fish, boneless bodies that look like they're made of jelly, black tissues that absorb light. They don't just survive, they've adapted. It's as if the depth shaped them with its own hand. Some are completely transparent, some are like darkness itself, and we've only seen a few, the rest hide within the blackness. Today we know that the Challenger Deep is not a single pit. It consists of three interconnected basins, so the bottom, we imagine, is actually just a doorway. What lies beneath remains unknown. Some theories suggest an even deeper cavity below the trench, a lower layer, an underground cavern, a prison of darkness. In the deep, dense brine pools flow like underwater rivers. These waters are so lethal that scientists call them death pools. Nothing that enters them ever returns. These are places where even death changes form. In 2003, an underwater robot vanished near the Mariana Trench. The last signal showed the device being pulled downward, downward, against the pressure gradient, a movement that defies physics. The device was never found. Its cables had snapped, and the tear marks looked like an external impact. Some research suggests the presence of a special substance that completely eliminates light. This material absorbs light, darkens glass, if true, this would be unlike anything known on Earth. Maybe living, maybe non-living. But one thing is certain, there is something down there. In this depth, even the human mind falters. The perception of time slips, sounds distort. Scientists who have dived here say they sometimes cannot even hear the echo of their own breathing, as if sound is being held back by something. The currents inside the trench break the laws of physics. Some flow upward, some spiral. These currents are found nowhere else on Earth. Some theories claim they're caused by deep hydrothermal vortexes. Others suggest equity, the byproduct of an unseen movement. Scientists now believe the Mariana Trench is not just a geological structure. It is a gateway to Earth's past, the planet's memory. Perhaps even its dark subconscious. If we are searching for life in space, we must first understand this place. Because the extreme conditions here mimic the environments of other worlds, if there is life under the ice of Enceladus, it will likely resemble the creatures of the Mariana Trench. Research after 2020 found far more signs of life than expected. Some of their DNA sequences exist nowhere else on Earth. For science, this is not just astonishing. It is terrifying. Those few who have descended here all reported one thing in common. There is no time down there. It feels as though the world has abandoned this place. No movement, no sound, no life. Or at least, not life as we understand it. And the darkest possibility Beneath the trench may lie another cavity even deeper than we can detect. A chamber, a cavern, a heart of darkness. Because some sonar recordings detected echoes rising from below the known bottom. As if the trench is merely the threshold of a deeper doorway. The Mariana Trench is not just a geographical formation. It is a dark zone forgotten by the world, untouched by science excluded from humanity. The shadow side of the earth, 
and it asks us this question. How deep do you dare to go? Maybe one day humanity will see its true face, but until that day comes, the Mariana will keep whispering, quietly, in the dark, patiently, because darkness does not hurry, and the Mariana Trench is still waiting. <laughs>